Hello, my name is Jason and I'm the Software Development Manager at Improver 360. Today I'm going to show you a quick demonstration of how we can integrate your Outlook calendar with your Improver 360 calendar by using the free Salesforce.Outlook utility. Salesforce.Outlook is a small program that runs in your system tray. This program periodically syncs your Outlook and Improver calendars together. Uh, I don't want to go into all the setup details in this video, I just want to show you how it works since everything is properly configured. But once it's been installed, it really just runs quietly down here. So let's go ahead and add something to our Outlook calendar and show how it looks and improve it. Here's my Outlook calendar. It is completely empty. I'm going to go ahead and make a new appointment. Let's say this appointment is for this Wednesday. And let's have it start at 9.30 and end around 11. We'll just call this an appointment and we'll have the location be at my desk. And here you can see this appointment has shown up in my Outlook calendar as it should. Now I'm going to actually manually sync this. Normally the sync takes about 10 to 15 minutes, but I can force it to happen immediately. Okay. You can see that the sync is completed. And here on my Improve It 360 calendar shows up an appointment. Also, this is going to show up in my staff calendar. That way people can see this when they are scheduling appointments in the system, which we'll do next. Get my click center control here. There we go. Here we show the staff calendar for Wednesday, which is when I scheduled it. And here you see uh, in this system I actually am called integration user. And it shows up here from 9 to 10.30 and even says that it's at my desk. Now I want to show you how a sales appointment in the system will show up on your Outlook calendar. So let's say I have an appointment coming up that I found out is for Polly Perkins. So I'm going to go ahead and use our familiar start page. Type in the information I know about her. I happen to have her first name, last name, and phone number, which is helpful. Because this is a good way to, to identify your customers. And you can see here we did find her phone number actually in here twice but this name is correct. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new appointment for her. And I'm going to use this Find Available Time Utility. Let's say she wants to also have this appointment on Monday. Or excuse me, on Wednesday. Here we go. Now on Wednesday, you'll notice that normally I have two reps available for most time slots, but because I have that other appointment in the system already, there's only one person available. I want to make sure I can go, so I'm going to schedule this later on in the day, and I'm going to have myself go as rep one, and also take sales guys with me as rep two. And it will update, and we'll go ahead and just save this. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and again force the sync. Now, again, this happens normally all by itself every few minutes. You don't have to actually force the synchronization. We're just do that for purposes of demonstration. And let's go to today day view for Wednesday. And here you see here's the appointment I set up manually in Outlook, and here's the appointment that I set up with Polly Perkins.